U Perfect 4K 15.6 inches portable monitor review. I needed a second monitor for my laptop while traveling to boost my productivity by running multiple apps side by side. My criteria included a bright screen, 4K resolution, and overall good quality. I decided on this 15.6 inch 4K monitor from Uperfect, and it almost perfectly meets my requirements for the price. You can connect almost any device to it, including a laptop, Xbox, PlayStation, or an Amazon Fire Stick. Watching movies is just an added bonus. Friend, remember that you are my motivation. So, by subscribing to the channel, you can make me happy. Don't forget to activate the notification bell and like the videos to stay updated on new releases. Specifications What do we have here? It's a 15.6 inch, 4K, 60Hz monitor with 99% sRGB coverage. sRGB is the default color space on most devices, unlike Adobe RGB. The monitor has a brightness of 300 nits, which is reasonable. For comparison, high-end laptops like the MacBook Pro or Dell XPS range between 380 and 500 nits. This monitor should perform well, especially since my primary monitor is frontlit. The IPS HD screen offers a 178-degree viewing angle in a full aluminium body. With a contrast ratio of 1,000,000,000 HDR, high dynamic range, provides a wider range of colors and a more vibrant image, provided your source video supports it. IPS, in plane switching, panels offer better viewing angles and color accuracy compared to non-IPS panels. As for resolution, you might argue that 4K isn't necessary for a small screen, but I prefer having the option because my eyesight is still good enough to appreciate it. Plus, the overall picture quality is higher, and these monitors come in various options. I need your support to reach 1000 subscribers, so please subscribe to the channel. Features U Perfect also highlights its low blue light and anti flicker technology, designed to be easy on the eyes. I haven't tested this extensively, so if you have, let me know in the comments. For gamers, this monitor supports AMD Free Sync, synchronizing the refresh rate of your graphics card with the monitor to prevent image tearing, and it has a 3 milliseconds response time, which is decent for a portable monitor. I'm aiming for 1000 subscribers, so please subscribe to the channel. Sound and VESA Regarding sound, the monitor has two speakers, but the quality is just okay. It has a stereo audio output port for headphones or external speakers. Another interesting feature is the VESA mounting holes, allowing you to mount it on a wall. Subscribe to the channel and help me reach 1000 subscribers. Interfaces Let's look at the ports, it has a standard HDMI port, mini display port, two USB ports, one with power delivery to transmit video, audio, and power over the same cable, Thunderbolt 3 support, and a headphone jack. Note that you need at least 45 watts of power to display 4K at 60Hz. On the other side, there's a micro USB port with OTG support for connecting a mouse and keyboard. The silver buttons on the monitor control power, volume, and brightness, but they are not labeled, so you need to look at the back. The power button is first, followed by buttons for volume and brightness control, a menu button, and an exit button. Can you help me reach 1000 subscribers by subscribing to the channel? Cons. The main downside is the monitor's weight, about 2 pounds, which is significant for a portable device. This model also doesn't have a battery, whereas the version with a battery weighs over 5 pounds. However, this isn't a deal breaker for me. The box includes a case, which doubles as a stand, an HDMI to USB Type-C cable, a 45 watt power adapter, and a manual. Support me in reaching my goal of 1000 subscribers by subscribing to the channel. Conclusion Let's see how the picture looks. Here's an Amazon Fire Stick. This is a 4K Fire Stick, identifiable by its logo without the word Amazon. Let's fire up YouTube. The colors look great, this is 4K at 60 frames per second with HDR. 
That's it for this review. I'd love to hear about your experiences with portable monitors. If you've bought one, which one did you get, and what do you use it for? I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. See you soon, and thanks for watching.